Hey guys, welcome back to another live mic segment as we assess what we know about the game so far. So being here at the military base in Badwater Canyon seemed like an appropriate place to open up this live mic. And uh, if you guys have been on Reddit or on Discord, you can see that uh, basically the game is still kind of in a holding pattern. There have been meetings, I guess, discussions probably the first week after the layoff and then probably throughout this week as well. As to the future direction of probably maybe just survive itself or the whole franchise. When I say whole franchise, I'm just talking about H1Z1 in general. But I, I truly think that as far as Auto Royale and Battle Royale, those games are going to be fine. Those are live games. And they seem to attract a decent amount of attention. We see, you know, some of the Twitch streamers playing it. And it's still, you know, on the list at night. When you go on Twitch, for all you Twitch viewers out there. I don't watch a whole lot of Twitch, if you guys were wondering. Um, doing YouTube really keeps me pretty busy. So, um, I don't watch it maybe as often as you guys do, or as often as you guys um, can. But uh, nonetheless, it's good to be back talking to you guys, and uh, we're here at the the abandoned military base. Of course, uh, Corporal Moran no longer here. And, oh, we can, um, so apparently we can uh, get the loot and check the bags here. I've not been here in a while, actually. I've been here to the military base. I've kind of limited uh, my looting and stuff just to certain areas of the game. Um, because with not knowing what's going to happen, you know, how much of, how much of the game, you know, how much time invested do I want to put in to it at the moment? Now, so basically what happened was a minute ago is I, uh, had a campfire and I couldn't light it. Now, I don't know if that's because if it's snowy out, even if it's not snowing, you still can't make a, um, you still can't make a fire. That's just kind of rather annoying and I was gonna come here and see if uh, wow look at all those axes I'm finding all of a sudden I was gonna see if I could find a grill here I don't remember if there was one around here or not to maybe um, see if I could uh, sterilize my water so most of the information that we're seeing or just the brief little blurbs that we see coming from um, the depart or from the devs is uh, not sure why I did that that's kind of annoying uh, yeah, right. Let's just get out of here. Thank you. And so, uh... I wasn't sure if they would have worked out some kind of plan or some kind of message or something for the community in the anticipation of uh, the layoffs. But sometimes when they do those things, they don't really, like, let everybody know, right? They don't say ahead of time, Oh, by the way, in two weeks, we're going to be laying everybody off or we'll be laying people off. And so, um... You guys need to get ready, prepare statements, <laughs> get ready to, to inform the community that uh, this is going to be going down. So I can kind of understand right now the team is probably uh, trying to put things together. A lot of the lead people are, are, are actually gone, the ones that were responsible for putting the game together and um, the design and the direction and planning and all that. I've had a few people ask me, you know, what, what my overall kind of thoughts and things were. And that is that, um, you know, I'll reiterate it again. Uh, it, it feels like a lot like um, Landmark to me. When Dave Jorgensen left, Dave Jorgensen left Landmark. It was kind of like, hmm, you know. I, you know, I didn't want to say anything outright. I had to get a sip of water. Um, because you, you just never know what's going what's gonna to happen. And being someone who's participated uh, in, in, with this company since Verant days. Verant, Sony, SOE to uh, the present, you just really, you just never really know what's going to happen. So trying to come out and give you guys like solid, tangible, this is what's going to happen, that's what's going to happen, just uh, is not really what I want to do. It's not really the way I've ever really structured anything. I've always based it on a wait and see attitude. Let's see what's going to happen with the, with the franchise or what's going to happen with the game, what's going to happen with this, what's going to happen with that. And uh, there we go, some nice purified water. 
so I mean as far as like when I check the servers today they look pretty typical which are you know not not a lot of uh, activity but about average but the question is is that gonna be something that um, you know the numbers are gonna play a factor without a doubt and so maybe they're just kind of just kind of seeing where they are where they want to go maybe they're gonna present what they have out what they have uh, already designed what they had planned on releasing because I know having talked with um, Tom Girl Gamer who went out there to San Diego you know she got an opportunity to see a lot of things that um, the players haven't seen uh, she wasn't able to talk about it or discuss it or anything like that she didn't like she didn't go into a lot of details other than to say that um, you know there was things that she saw that gave her kind of you know an idea that you know wow they had you know quite a bit going on and options and things like that so we could see maybe like a template that's already been designed for the game maybe like okay so this is what they had planned and this is what they had designed that they were going to put out there slowly but surely you know piece by piece by piece because pretty much the game has been released in little tiny chunks you know little small little bites and if they if they do say move forward with just survive which would be maybe more pvp than just the mmo part like right like what we're doing here at the base um, so we're just kind of, you know, really going to have to wait and see how long will that be? How long will we have to wait? It's hard to say. I, I wouldn't anticipate that, um, we would be waiting too, too long. In other words, I don't, I don't anticipate like us sitting around. In other words, I don't anticipate like very little activity happening with the game updates and stuff to go any longer than a month. I, I really, I don't even know if it'll last a month. I mean, it, we're probably probably know a little more this week or we should know more this week is kind of what I'm thinking you guys of course are always welcome to leave your comments and thoughts down there in the public section below and have you guys been playing have you guys been uh, logging in and checking your bases and stuff because when I ran around here I noticed that a lot of the bases uh, are all gone now uh, you know you see the little uh, shacks around but as far as like bases i've not seen any bases uh, but guys just wanted to jump in here real quick and uh just say hey i'm i'm still here still keeping an eye on everything like you guys are just waiting to see what's going to happen and uh maybe this week we will learn a little bit more that's going to wrap up this live mic thank you guys for all your support you've given the channel over the course of these three years be sure you click on that watermark to subscribe to the channel. Whoa! <laughs> uh, also, feel free to peruse some of the Just Survive uh, videos that have been here since launch. By subscribing, you guys will get all the latest information out of Daybreak and Just Survive.